Right then, survival water. This is the transpiration bag that we're using on the new Level A SEER DVD for the UK. Set it up about an hour ago and the sun wasn't very hot then at all. It's now, let's see, just after half past nine in the morning. So the sun's been up strong for about half an hour, 45 minutes, and in the next three hours or so it'll get really warm. Already you can see that because we've completely wrapped these green branches in plastic, see-through plastic, and tied it really securely at this end so the air can't get in or out as best we can. That as this plant, this bush, is photosynthesizing, one of its byproducts, which is water, is starting to condense on the plastic bag. The adaption we've made down here is a small knot to stop any leaf matter falling through into what's become a little collection reservoir. And in about the half hour or so, we've already got some water starting to form. And you can see it beading on the bag and dribbling down. So this is a far better way of using a plastic bag in an arid region if you can find the key indicator for water, which is some greenery. Make sure it's not a poisonous plant, wrap the bag around it, and as it photosynthesizes, it'll make water for you because the taproot of the plant is drawing it all the way from down by the water table up to the leaves, and then the vapor condenses on your bag and you get a drink. Mates I've got at the Aussie Survival School say they get about a litre out of one of these bags in a day. And the only thing to remember is to get the water out of the bag at the end of the day and drink it because it'll sort of shut down the system overnight when the sun goes down. If you've got a really long tube, rather than digging a hole and doing the unproductive solar still that you'll see in all the books where you sweat more digging it than you actually get back from it, if you've got a tube you can put that into this bag down into the reservoir and then you don't even have to untie it, you can just drink the water or siphon the water out at the end of the, the day. Back in the transpiration bag, it's now just gone quarter past 12, which is local time, so it's still about 45 minutes till the sun gets to its zenith. And we've now got, after about three hours worth, a reasonable amount of water, so given a full day in a very, very arid region. 